Hey, no Facebook fans, Dragon Man here. I'm in the Colorado Springs Military Museum. This is where I spent a lot of time. In this one building, there's 92 military vehicles and 32 of my hot rods. And uh, I want to tell you about uh, half tracks. Here, let's take a walk. <clears throat> We're going to do a, a video on uh, all six of my different half tracks. I want to tell you all about them. My museum covers uh, stuff from uh, 1914, World War One, right through Afghanistan. Everything in the museum here is uh, fully operational. We have a lot of rare stuff. I have seven vehicles that were actually shipped back from Europe over the last 35 years that were used in World War II. Yeah, look at all this stuff. Unbelievable. We have a total of over 5,000 helmets, probably over 4,000 flags, 3,000 working weapons. I don't think you guys are ever going to see a military museum better than the one I just put together. Okay, so anyway, we're going to do a video on my uh, half tracks. Uh, this is a half track. I have six of them in my military museum. One at a time, when I buy them, uh, I take them in the shop, I strip them all down, and I redo each vehicle one at a time. I'm going to tell you all about these. These were uh, made uh, with the White Trucking Company, 1941 to 45. I'm going to tell you what this roller in the front is for. Uh, they had a, a six-cylinder uh, White Trucking Company uh, motor. It puts out 147 horsepower. They're front-wheel drive. They got tracks in the back, and uh, these are 1919 3006 uh, Browning machine guns. It's got a 75 millimeter recoilless rifle. These are M36 backpacks that were on the side, and uh, this is exactly the way it looked when it came off the landing craft, June 6, 1944, in Omaha and Utah Beach. Okay, I'm going to hop in the back. Check it out. It's got the radio in the back with the armor around it. It goes right down to the real ammunition, 3006 ammunition, uh, to the fire extinguisher that they would have had in the vehicles in that period. Okay, I'm going to hop in the back here. All my mannequins in the military museum here are all dressed in uh, authentic uh, World War II uniforms that would have been issued in that period. This is a 75 millimeter recoilless rifle and uh, it even comes down to the M1 Grants. See these are rifle holders on both sides and those are M1 Grants. The, the soldiers would have kept their rifles in a rifle holder and uh, I'm going to explain everything about half tracks. Uh, the video we're making this afternoon It'll probably take a day to load it, so we'll put it on Facebook uh, about uh, 24 hours from now. So you guys keep in touch, and uh, you're going to learn a lot about the World War II half-tracks. You guys have a great day, and thanks for watching.